Bruner's Run that way. Ohio Pile City this way. Great Gorge Trail takes you to Cucumber Falls. High Bridge. And that's the direction of the city. Ohio Pile's literally, I don't know, 1,500 yards. Uh, maybe more, 2,000 yards. Yakigani River, Ohio Pile State Park. Western Pennsylvania, June 17, I guess, Saturday, around 6 p.m. The rapids up river, and the river's going right to left here. That water's coming from Maryland. If you were to keep going back, 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 Yakigini River comes from Maryland, up river, and it's flowing north. And that's north that way. That's uh, railroad rapids down there. And this used to be the railroad bridge. This is High Bridge. It's 105, 110 feet from here to the water. There's another bridge called Low Bridge, which we'll go over when we get into a hop off. When I had more energy, I used to hike along the river shore from here all the way up river to Meadow Run Slides. Hiking along the river shore is really strenuous. This side, the right side, as we're looking up river, is the easier side to hike, but it's longer. The left side, it's more steep, more big boulders. Some truly fantastic boulders are on the left side of the, as we look at the Yakigini River, looking up river. The river's coming to us from Maryland. There's some really massive boulders. This rapids is railroad rapids. The next rapids is called Dartmouth Rapids. At Dartmouth Rapids is the ear boulder, the boulder with an ear. Is some incredible pothole boulders and the cave boulder all kinds of really cool stuff when the river is two feet or less you can uh, see those boulders real easily and it's pretty easily hikeable on this side I prefer to hike along the river shore in the winter when the snakes are all hibernating so you have no chance at all of stepping on a snake you have to keep your eyes peeled not to see the snakes to see the snakes that is all these boulders that you see when the river's up 10 feet they're all under water and it's just a brown mass flowing down really fast fear to jump in the river here with an inner tube, you could float all the way down to the Gulf of Mexico, just getting out of the getting out of the river at the locks. Who knows? Probably take you a month or two. There's a guy down there. Let's see, see, hello, guy. He's fishing. to jump in the river here and kids used to before all the rules and the regulations with an inner tube you could float all the way to Connellsville kids used to do that used to drive to a high pile jump in their inner tubes and uh, go down the rapids this is a whole nine yards depending on how you know 
what do you call it? Fearless you are. You can at least start here. That direction reads, leads to Brunner's Ryung, where the kayakers finally usually end their kayaking. That's also where the rubber boat that way is Brunner's Ryung uh, run. And that's a good, I don't know, five miles from here. So there's a lot of great rapids from here to Brunner's Ryung run. On the river coming towards us here, that's where the six famous Ohio Powell Rapids are. Railroad Rapids. Next one is Dartmouth Rapids. Next one I think is, um, is it Eddy Turn? And then above Eddy Turn is Camel and Walrus. Above Camel and Walrus, going, keep going up river, is Pidley. Above Pidley is the famous Cucumber Rapids. That's where the photographers set up and take their photographs of the boaters, the rubber boaters, because they often fly out of their boats there and have excitement landing in the water. The more, uh, I guess the more uh, tough, 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 tough stuff is downriver. On the way to Bruner's run, you run, uh, run, which is a run, a run, a stream coming into the Yakigini River from the left. When you get down there a couple miles are the really some of the treacherous rapids where you don't want to get stuck under some of those boulders underwater that you'll have a hard time there so you got to follow the instructions of your guides all right this is high bridge this is number four in a high pile super beautiful it's always beautiful all time of the year easily reached old people can reach it easily from walking straight from Ohio Pile Town and coming to Ohio Pile uh, High Bridge and this is on the Gap Trail, Great Allegheny Passage Trail.